David Parker. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Attorney General. Does the government intend to proceed this week with its legislation to replace the existing Foreshore and Seabed Act 2004? The Honourable Chris Finlayson. Mr. Speaker, the bill is set down on the order paper to have its second reading later today. If the member wants to know how the bill will proceed, I suggest he speak to the Leader of the House who has responsibility for House business. The Honourable David Parker. Why is the uh, national-led government, together with its coalition partner, the Maori Party, proceeding with its controversial and flawed foreshore and seabed legislation at the very time the government has been asking the opposition parties to cooperate and put politics aside after the earthquake and the wider interests of our country? The Honourable Chris Finlayson. Well, the question is fundamentally flawed because the bill is not flawed. It provides an enduring solution to a problem which has vexed New Zealand for many years, particularly uh, over questions of access to justice. Supplementary. David Parker. Uh, how can that be, given that last year the Prime Minister, John Key, told New Zealand he would stick with the status quo and not proceed with the new bill if it didn't have broad support and wouldn't settle the issue, which is patently clear it will not do? The Honourable Chris Finlayson. Well, I disagree that the legislation... Uh, that it's patently clear that the legislation won't solve this vexed problem. Uh, and I suggest that when you're looking at, or doing a count of those for or against a bill, you do more than rely on the statements of those who have the biggest mouths. Honourable David Three. Parker. Isn't the real reason the government is still proceeding with its exceedingly political foreshore bill the same reason government members pushed the bill through select committee without proper consideration, that is, it's trying to push through its deal with the Maori Party now in the hope it will be forgotten by the time of the election. The Honourable Chris Finlayson. No. Parliamentary. The Honourable David Parker. How can the government realistically expect the opposition to act in a bipartisan way with the government when National is acting so politically on so many fronts while pretending that it's not? Order, order. I'm not sure the minister has the member has any particular responsibility for how the government might be relating to the opposition. Uh, the minister is the attorney general, and he's responsible for matters to do with uh, his portfolio. I'm, I don't want to deprive the member of the chance to ask his question. I invite him to reword it. The Honourable David Parker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, does the attorney general accept that the political way in which it is pushing through foreshore and seabed will undermine uh, calls by the government? for the opposition to act in a bipartisan manner the following Chris the quake? Wilson. No. Question number 11.